Well, it doesn't really get anyone more Minnesotan than this. Sled dog races on the Gunflint Trail. The first race of the season is next weekend. Musher Ryan Anderson won second place at the Gunflint Mail Run with his team of 12 dogs last year. He also won the Bear Grease multiple times, which I, I've definitely heard of both of these races, which is very cool, Ryan. Uh, good to have you here. Thanks. And Thanks. introduce us to your, your, the, your si the one who's stealing the show. This is uh, my lead dog, Tito. This he's is been, Tito. Uh, one of my best leaders that I've had for the last three or four years now. So he's now a lead dog as opposed to the rest. How, how does their job differ? Uh, he, uh, he, he leads a team. He sets yeah. the pace and uh, he'll make all the, you know, turns and everything for me when yeah. I tell him to. So what kind, what is the breed? What kind of dog? This is, is uh, called an Alaskan Husky. Okay. So it's kind of a, a mix of everything. Yeah. So it's, it's bred more for racing and stuff. So still pulling and running and stuff like that, but uh, definitely a work dog. Yeah. So. Are all 12 the same breed or do yeah, you have pretty much. Okay. Yep. Yep. So, yep. Cool. What makes this such a great spectator sport? I would not think of sled dog racing as a spectator sport, but people do come out in droves to watch yeah, the races. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's an exciting sport. Uh, you got to be patient watching it just yeah. because, you know, we say it might take us four hours to get from point A to point <laughs> B, but it might take four and a half hours or something. Yeah. So uh, it's a lot of hurry up and wait. Um, but once you see the teams, it's pretty exciting. Yeah. So especially if you go to start to the race or road crossings or stuff like that, um, it's really where you get to see the teams move the best. So. What What is it about this that you love? The history of it? Like, what is it that kind of drew you, you know, to the sled? Well, I, don't, I might. We got into it as kids uh, growing up, yeah. and uh, it was just something I've always wanted to do since you know we, I raced when I was in high school and just grew up. And then when I graduated high school, I just decided that I wanted to be a dog musher for my yeah. life. So. Um, so yeah, I've kind of built my life around it and that's what we do. I mean, I, like any sport, a certain racing, I'm sure there's strategy when you're going through something like oh, this. Oh, for sure. What kind of sure. thing, what is your strategy? Is it different with every race, I would assume? Yeah, it is. I mean, there's some races where you want to get out in front and there's some yeah. races where you want to kind of hold back and wait until the end and see what you got. But, and the weather, you know, the climate, uh, you know, if there's a snowstorm coming or something, you might want to reserve a little bit of energy for that yeah. or, or stuff like that. But yeah, it, it's definitely fun. It's challenging. Um, and it's it's just fun to you know have all the your best friends with you all the yeah. time. So tell me about your training regimen, about what you do to get ready for the races. Uh, so I'll Hi, start uh, I'll start in October. Yeah. And we uh, we just we start out at short miles, mm -hmm. like five or six miles, and then we'll just constantly build up. And last week we were doing 52 miles, um, and then uh, now we kind of taper back down to get ready yeah. for the race. So. Do you have more than twelve? Do you have like a stable? Yeah, that you swap there's. In and I've out? got. Uh, I, I've got twenty dogs that okay. are that'll be mixing in all season long. So everybody will get a chance to go to a race, yeah. and we'll go from there. How do you dictate who races which ones? Is uh, it who's performing best at training that yeah, time? Yeah, and, and and they'll go through like any athlete. They have good games and bad games, and. Uh, you know, so there's a couple dogs that aren't necessarily running good today, but yeah. in two weeks they might be running good. So. Um, so yeah, that's kind of um, how we do it. And then there's some shorter races too that I'll run some younger dogs to kind of mm -hmm. get experience on them. Sure. So that when you go to the Bear Grease or some yeah. of the bigger races that, you know, you can use more of your veterans that know what they're doing. You know? So you, you talked a little bit about younger and older. How long, what's the lifespan of a racer? How long do you race for? Is it like an uh, NFL running back, three to four years? Or can you race, can the dogs race the, for a while? They'll, they'll be prime uh, anywhere between three and six. Okay. And then, uh, some of the good ones, they'll they'll make it until you know. I, I raced a nine-year-old one. Really? Time. Yeah, and we won. It was a race in Marquette, Michigan, that she ran lead the whole way. She's nine years Very old. Cool. So yeah, so they can do it. Um, they you know they eat good diet and uh, and they're athletes, so they exercise mm -hmm. every day. So you know, so they live uh, kind it's of what they do. They enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah, and and they just they're they're pretty healthy dogs. I've yeah. got. Uh, there's four dogs at home that are 15 and they'll be 16 this spring. Okay. You know? Wow. So and there's you know, four of them. That is so, cool. So yeah, they definitely, because of their life they, they live, they live a long yeah. time and healthy yeah. lives. So, yeah. Very cool. Hey, thanks yeah. so much. Yeah, thank you. Good luck. Thanks. The Gunflint Mail Run, by the way, is next weekend, the 10th to the 12th on the Gunflint Trail. The, it starts and finishes at the Travel Center Lodge. And we have a trail link. Center. Trail Center. Did I say Trail Center? Yes, Trail Center. Thank you. We have a link to learn more on care11.com. Yep.